Click subscribe to receive notifications from the late. It might be known as the city of churches, but a new religion has swept through Adelaide. Some worshippers have been devout their entire lives, while some have only recently been converted. The converted are easy to spot throughout Adelaide. Many are seen throughout West Lakes, but you can spot them wearing red, blue, and yellow scarves, beanies and jumpers. About 50,000 of them will tonight be attending worship at Adelaide Oval. These people are Crows fans and they're amidst finals fever. Adelaide will host Geelong for a spot in the grand final and for many fanatical fans, it has been a long time between drinks. After joining the competition in 1991, the year of the Crow came through in 1997 when Adelaide won their very first premiership. Fans will never forget the making of AFL great Andrew McLeod, the magic of premiership hero Darren Jarman and the Messiah himself, Crow's coach Malcolm Blight. The next year, the Crows followed a similar yet equally unbelievable script, defying all odds to repeat as champions by defeating North Melbourne. Since those two magical seasons, there have been moments of anguish and ecstasy but ultimately, a third premiership has remained agonizingly out of reach. It seemed almost a foregone conclusion that Mark Ricciotto would deliver the club's third flag as the Crows took the minor premiership in 2005, but two consecutive defeats on the AFL's penultimate stage saw the club's premiership window slam shut. Several years of falling short followed, before Brenton Sanderson had Adelaide back in line for a title. The 2012 preliminary saw a young Crows side stick it to the mighty Hawks, only to fall short by five points. A Rory Sloan suspension and subsequent loss in round 23 last year saw the Crows fall from second to fifth, and fall out of the finals race in the second round. But having won the minor premiership and their first final, the Crows are now firming as the flag favourites, and the fandom in Adelaide has reached new heights. Perennial villain Patrick Dangerfield returns to town, and there's no doubt fans will be vocal towards the former Crow. Even with tickets retailing at nearly $200, all seats were snapped up almost immediately, with the final allotment selling out in minutes yesterday. Under a clear sky on a balmy spring evening, a crowd of 53,000 is expected at Adelaide Oval to see whether the Crows come up agonizingly short, or march into the third grand final. Finals fever has reached fever pitch in Adelaide. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting please like and share to many friends know. Do you have any questions please comment below to let everyone know. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button to receive notifications from the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again.